Hey, I was thinking about uh, this old guy that James told me about, and the guy was a big drinker and uh, kind of annoying to the whole neighborhood kind of drinker. And he used to, and this just makes me mad, um, get a couple of roosters up and hold them, you know, like they do. And he'd have one in each hand, and he'd walk up and down the road hollering whatever he thought of whatever neighbor. Sometimes it was good, sometimes it was bad. Then he'd end up stopping somewhere along the way, and then he'd drop those roosters and they would then fight each other. And the, no matter what, he says, it never failed. They'd fight each other. Now, I wish I had a magic spell. <laughs> I could go back in time and make them flog the heck out of that guy. But, you know, I can't do that. The thing is, when I hear this story, I am seeing a different vision. I'm seeing this massive, like, monster thing. And it's carrying a person in each hand by the leg. And I think that big old thing is fear, it's adversity, it's whatever it is that upsets us. And it takes and tears us apart. But rather than people bonding together sometimes and taking a look and seeing what is this thing that is doing this to us, they turn against each other. They, they take the person that should be there to love and support them or somebody that is a friend to them despite maybe different belief system or whatever and instead of saying, hey, let's stand together against the thing that makes us afraid or the thing that is hurting us or the thing that is making us feel bad, you know, they turn against each other and then the thing that's holding them gets more and more and more powerful this embodiment of fear, this embodiment of hate or stupidity. Sometimes it's the embodiment of ignorance. And sometimes the people in each hand is this, this belief and that belief or this husband, this wife, you know, or this friend and this ex-friend or whatever, whatever. And sometimes it's this aspect and that aspect of you, warring parts of you. Your logic, your heart, what you want to do, what you should do, you know, and you got to find balance in that case. But whatever you don't do, you don't give in to the thing that is doing the bad stuff to you. You don't give in to whatever it is that confines you, confines, I hope I said that right, you give in to something better and you turn your power against the thing that is putting you in a dark place or into a confined place, you know, don't turn against each other and don't war within yourself. Make peace here, see? And then that big monstrous thing gets smaller and smaller and it goes and paces out somewhere the next time. That's it for now.